Uh, the next way to recover an R panel that we want to talk about is going to be a two-piece system. And a two-piece system is going to have uh, a, a Z, which is a, uh, I call this a hat support Z, but basically it's a 16 gauge Z that is uh, about four inches long and it's got these gussets stamped into both corners. And then this thing, and it's got five holes in it so you can hit a bar joist or you can hit a purlin with it. And then this thing comes in multiple heights. So it comes from a, a height of two, two inches tall all the way to four and a half inches tall, depending on what panel you're gonna recover or how much insulation that you wanna put in there. So, uh, so, so this is the one part. And then the second part is a one and a half inch, 16 gauge half section that sits on top of it. So this sits down between the ribs of the panel. You put the hat section on top of it. Uh, this can be very, very economical. So uh, if the price of the roof hugger or a notch purlin is, is taking you out of the game, or you're looking to reduce the cost of the system, and you don't have a bunch of structural problems in the, in the building that are gonna call for enhancement, then this may be your answer, okay? So the whole key to using this system is is being able to space these hat support Z's out four feet apart along the purlin. So if you can put, put these things four feet apart, then and you're then then you're putting two fasteners or maybe three fasteners into the purlin into one of these things and then putting the hat section on top, then you're talking about a very economical way to retrofit a roof. Or if the owner wants to add six inches of bad insulation on top of his R panel roof or on top of one of these other roofs, then you can use a four and a half inch tall part and then use a one and a half inch hat section. That gives you room for six inches of bad insulation, which is going to be well under the three pounds per square foot that you're looking for with a lot of insulation with R19 on top of the roof. So this can be a great system. Really the big key to it is is being able to put these things about four feet apart. So kind of the rule of thumb is, is if you've got pressures in the field of the roof that are over 40 pounds per square foot, this is a no go for you with these at four foot on center. You can put them closer together, but four foot on center with these, if the pressures are over 40 feet, uh, over 40 pounds per square foot in the field of the roof, then, then this, is, this, this is really not the system for you. You're always gonna figure on putting these things closer together in the edge zone or in the corners. But as long as if you get the field at four foot, then it can work for you. So basically these things work like this. Uh, I, you know, you're gonna take a, a purlin fastener and I pre-drilled these holes already because I made a mistake and I've already done this once. So I'm gonna just try to go in the same hole, make it easy on myself. There's one. There's two. Now we got that one set. There's one. There's two. And now what you're doing is you are installing eight feet of hat section at once when you're doing this. When you've got them four foot on center, you're covering eight feet of roof, eight fasteners or maybe 10 fasteners. So as long as the pressures are right, which is gonna be in the vast majority of the country, this can be an awesome system for you and uh, to help reduce the cost, make your job go faster and get the customer what he wants in the end, which may be more insulation or a reduced cost. Okay, and next we're gonna talk about a hat and scat. And, which is a very interesting system that I've seen being used out there. I've never done it and I'm going to show you why.